Greetings and welcome back to Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I am Amazing K, Karen K. Rush, and I'm here today to tell you what we're going to celebrate today. Today, Wednesday, September 20th, is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Yay! It's also National Fried Rice Day. Yay! It's also National String Cheese Day. Yay! It's also natu National Punch Day. Yay! And it's also National Care for Kids Day. Yay! So let's talk about National Pepperoni Pizza Day. So pepperoni pizza is one of the most popular pizza toppings there are. There's lots of toppings that you could put on pizza. Of course, cheese. I think we just had National Cheese Pizza Day uh, a week ago. <laughs> I mean, we really get into the foods here in National Day Calendar. So also, um, I tell you what. National, uh, the pepperoni pizza is one of the most popular ones because although you can have many different toppings on many different styles of pizza, no matter if you like Chicago style pizza, deep crust uh, pizza, deep uh, thin crust, or or even flavored crust, or Detroit style, or New York style pizza, thin crust, thick. If you like it in a square, if you like it in a round. The most popular topping for all of those is pepperoni. So it gets its own day. So where did pepperoni pizza come from? It came from uh, Italy, of course. Uh, a guy named Raphael Esposito, he decided to make a nice dish for the queen, the queen of Italy. And it was a pizza pie, and he had pepperonis on it and different things on it too. But... That's where it came from. But what's going on today, pepperoni pizza has been coming, it's more popular everywhere. And I tell you, my favorite pepperoni pizza is Jets. Yay, Jets. I was there today and I got this pizza. But just to let you know, because it is pepperoni pizza day, Jets is giving you 20% off. Look at that pizza. Ah, isn't that delicious? And four pepperonis. I like the square. You know, also thin crust is good too. But, you know what, I'm not going to eat this right now because I am watching my calories and I am a foodie. So anyway, let's talk about what they're offering. They are offering 20% uh, off um, of your order, but you have to order it online and you have to use the code um, PEP, uh, I think it's PEP, no, P-E-P-2-3, PEP-23. When you do that in your checkout, you would get 20% off your whole order because it's pepperoni pizza day. Yay. Who else is doing pepperoni pizza uh, day? Oh, Little Caesars. They're doing it also. They are giving you half off uh, if you order online of your pizzas, half off of your pepperoni pizza. And I think it might be everything on there, but call to make sure. And it, yeah, the classic pizza, the menu. Half off, but you have to use that code also. And theirs is half off PEP, all in caps, all one word. H-A-L-F-O-F-F-P-E-P, -F -F half off PEP. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese is doing it too. They give you an upgrade, an upgrade for, for whatever, like if you order a small pizza and you want a large, um, a medium pizza, the next upgrade, only $2 more. So yeah, all these people are helping to do celebrate <laughs> pepperoni pizza day okay so let's talk about the next food day today is national fried rice day yay so this day came about because fried rice is uh, such a delectable treat it could be a side dish it can even be a whole meal if you use shrimp fried rice or you know beef fried rice or vegetable fried rice i this one of my favorite vegetable fried rice you know and it's really great so let me tell you who came up with this fried rice day? Benny Hanna. So I was there and I wanted to try it because they said they have the best fried rice and they are serious about their fried rice. And they decided that it needed to be a day, a national day calendar agreed, and it is September 20th. Actually, it's a two day celebration, September 19th, yesterday and the 20th. And what they're doing when you purchase fried rice from them is that you, are donating to kids hunger 
No Kid Be Hunger. Look, that's what they, they, they donate a dollar of your order to that. So you're doing it for a good cause. And that's great because today is also National Care for Kids Day. We're going to talk about that. But look, I went to Benny Holly today and everybody's talking about that. And I, I you know, I haven't had it. So I was going to try it. And they gave me some sauces. They gave me yum yum sauce and ginger sauce. So I'm just going to try it because I never had it before. And you know, when I try things on here, I'm going to try it with a little yum yum sauce. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mmm. 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 Yep, that's good. Mmm. It's delicious. I like the yum yum sauce. I mean, I think the ginger might be a little spicy. I'm just going to stick my fork in it. Mm hmm But I like ginger. Ginger is good for your body. That internal inflammation. I drink ginger water all the time. And ginger tea. Okay. So that's good. I'm going to have to have some more of that. that. That's good. I know I'm watching my calories, but how many calories are in a cup of fried rice? Put it in there. What is your favorite fr fried rice recipe? I know lots of people can make it themselves. Some people just go to the Chinese store to get it. But today, it's fried rice day, National Fried Rice Day. And Benihana is uh, having a nice special for you to do that. Okay? Let's talk about National String Trees Day. String trees. I got some. Got some right here. And this is a, a, little, a little colorful one. It's actually by Kraft. And it has uh, cheddar and Swiss combined. See how it's like a little, remind me of that barbershop pole with the red and white or a candy cane. But string cheese day, okay. So that's like a, num a nice snack. Um, whether you call it, mm, some people call it uh, cheese sticks. <laughs> some people call it snack cheese. Um, anyway, it's a good thing. It melts. It's a good snack. It's nutritious. It's full of protein. Full of protein. And I know some people have lactose intolerant and they can't eat cheese, but don't eat it if you do. But you do have some cheeses that are uh, gluten-free or lactose-free. Uh, this holiday came by with Galbani. Now, I've never heard of Galbani cheeses. I think some people who do a lot of cooking, I don't do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of eating, but not a lot of cooking. Isn't that crazy? But they came up with this um, back in 2017, and you you can uh, go to their website and find a lot of recipes with cheeses in it. And Galbani is the one who is the founder of National Cheese Day, String Cheese Day, okay? All righty, let's see. The next one is National Punch Day. Now, we're not talking about punching like that or hole punching like you do with, in the paper. We're talking about that nice beverage punch. Mm. That is so sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need some water. Mm -hmm. I tell you, punch is so sweet. <laughs> but there's lots of different kind of punches. And punch came from way back. It first came on the scene. Oh my goodness. What sailors from England came up with this drink, okay? And it came from the word punch, P-A-U-P-A-N-C-H, punch. It's Hindi for five, okay? So that's why punch, the first punch that they made and evolved, it had five ingredients in it. Guess what they were? Well, first was alcohol. <laughs> so punch. Then now, the days, there are some alcoholic punch and non-alcoholic punches, um, sugar, there's lemon, and there's spices, and of course water. So those are the five ingredients that made up the original punch, which is water, spices or tea, uh, sugar, lemon, and alcohol. <laughs> but your punch now can be made up of anything. It doesn't even have to be five ingredients. I know when we were little, my mom used to always make us, every time there was a holiday, and that's when punches usually 
punch is usually served during the holidays. People just don't make punch and just drink. You, you, you may find Kool-Aid in the refrigerator or a juice or pop, but not punch. Punch is a special thing when you have a special celebration like a wedding or a party or a holiday. Because I know we used to have eggnog for our holiday, eggnog punch. And we also used to have Verner's and ice cream or Verner's and sherbet. When I say Verner's, those of you who don't live in Michigan, you probably call it ginger ale. We call it Verner's in Michigan because Verner's is the ginger ale, original ginger ale company made right here in Detroit. We're famous for that. And Motown and the Motor City. Woo -hoo. But yes, that was our favorite punch for the holidays or for a special occasion. Verner's pop or Verner's soda or ginger ale soda and sherbet ice cream, orange sherbet ice cream. It would taste so good, and the, the sherbet would just float on top, and it looked so pretty. And punch bowls are always, punch is always served in punch bowls. You wouldn't have punch in a little uh, pitcher, because it's just the beautification of it all. I remember giving my mom a punch bowl for Christmas, because they would have, they had the punch bowl, and they had the little intricate uh, things in there, the designs, and they always came with these itty-bitty cups. Now, this is the smallest cup I have in my house, you know. Mm, but, um, yeah, punch is a, a delectable drink. And I would like to know what is your favorite punch recipe. You know, we used to make, oh, a lot of people do put fruit in their punch now. I know one of my good friends, we went to our daughter's house and it had fruit in it. And I was like, oh, this is so good. But, yeah, fruit punch. Remember that commercial about Hawaiian punch where the little guy, hey, how would you like a nice Hawaiian punch? He's like, okay. Pow! He would do that every, he would fall for it every time. I'm like, why don't you just know that he's going to get punched? <laughs> okay, so that is punch. The last thing we're going to talk about, the last holiday, is National Care for Children Day. Now, as you know, my background is in early childhood, and I love the children. I was a teacher for 20-some-odd years, and then I supervised teachers for another other 22 years so yeah i've been in early childhood for 42 years okay yep do the math i know anyway uh it's awesome day today because we get to pour back into the lives of children we get to be show be positive role models for children and however you want to do that do it because children are our future and that's just not a song by Lou Rawls or Whitney Houston, <laughs> The Greatest Love. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Well, that's the truth. Yes, it's a lyric to a song, but it is the truth. Our children are our future, and we really need to pour into them. There's a lot going on in this world. One of the reasons that I started this podcast is because there's just so much gloom and doom going on. And we need to do, need to have something positive. We need to have something fun. We need to have something to celebrate other than what we see on the news. We see murder. We see, you know, killing. We see, you know, breaking ends. We see lots of family. We see everything that is not good. Let's have some good. And let's pour some good into our children. So that they can grow up knowing that there's more to life than what's around them. There are some organizations that... Um, into children a lot. I, I am part of Royal Family Kids Camp and I really, really always are advocating for that. So every year they take children on a camping experience for a whole week. Foster children. Children that are foster children that are removed from their home, that are abused and neglected. So it is our, our, our mission, our, our goal to give those kids to let them see a camping experience. Let them have fun. Let them know that they are loved. Their parents might have had whatever issues going on that they couldn't cannot be at home with them, but they are still loved. We need volunteers for that. I would love for people that are in this area because they're we're in Michigan, and but let me tell you. Royal Family Kids Camp is all over the world. It's all over. It started in the United States. Now we do have some in other countries. But I would like for you to go and look and see where you can donate. You can donate time. You can donate money. You can donate, um, you know, things that they might need for the camp. Help the kids. Help the kids. They need your help. So 
the address to here, the web address where you can go and just put in your states. When you can look at the map and see where they are. We only have three here in Michigan, uh, one in Plymouth, one in Novi, and one in Northville. I am affiliated with the one in Northville. I'm on the board of directors, and we have a lovely uh, camp directors here is their information. The next camp is going to happen next year, August 4th through August 9th. It's a whole week, Sunday through Friday. If you can donate that time, it would be such a rewarding thing to go. The first time that I went as a camp counselor, actually I went as a camp assistant counselor, it was just phenomenal. It was a phenomenal time for me to be with those kids and to see them, see them see camping through their eyes for the first time. All the things that they were uh, learning. Okay, so it was just awesome. So go, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Donate. If you can't do the whole week, do some of the week. We have a birthday party at the end of the week and you can come and be a part of the birthday party and help do that. You can do the mentoring. We have mentoring. We have the Keels, Mr. and Mrs. Keel do that. And they are awesome. Okay, so that's Royal Family Kids Camp. That's an organization. I want to talk about one more organization, Planet Cares Foundation. So I, my company that I um, am a uh, independent rep with, um, my business, Planet Marketing, we have Planet Cares Foundation. And what that is, that's helping women and children who are homeless, giving them the necessities that they need and so they find their home, helping them find their home. I mean, this is something that you can do. A lot of times people are like, I need to donate something. We need money for that. We need to be able to, to give them the necessities. So here's information here for that. Donate, you can text Planet Cares Foundation. Uh, you text that word, no, just Planet Cares, and you text that word to the number 41444. Let's help our kids. Let's help them. Let's help the parents that are trying to help their kids. So those are the two organizations that I want to focus on today for National Care for Kids Day because we need to care for our kids. If we don't, who will? They're our responsibility. Okay, so care for kids. If you got a kid, tell them, hey, we're going to care for kids. You're going to give them some pepperoni, maybe. You're going to give them some fried rice. Give them some string cheese. Give them some punch. Because <laughs> all those days are celebrated today. Okay, so come back. We're going to talk about um, National Women's Day is coming up. Women's Day in Business. And I know a lot of women in business. I'm a businesswoman and I know a lot of them. So we're going to be highlighting those. So don't miss the next episode. Go back and look at some other episodes. Make comments. Tag and share. Let people know what's going on here at Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. We're learning some fun stuff. Are we? I don't know. I need you to put it in comments. What do you think about today's episode? What are you going to do for uh, National Care Kids Day? Are you going to have some pepperoni? What's your best pizza? fried rice recipe. What's your punch recipe? Communicate with me. I want to have a dialogue with you. Okay. You say something, I'll say something. You say something, I'll say something. That's a dialogue. Okay. So I'm going to go now. I do want to remind you, we still got the trips going on. You can still win. How do you win? Three day, two night getaway by subscribing and getting others to subscribe get three people to subscribe every time you subscribe three people and they say they subscribe because of you then your name goes in the drawing you can win a free trip if you're the one who gets most people to subscribe you get an automatic trip anyway okay compliments of rush travels and adventures when you travel for fun or adventures or pleasure don't forget rush travels and adventures anyway i want to tell you be bold, be beautiful, be you, because when you are you, I mean your original uniqueness, you're all unique, and you all have something to bring to the table, and you all have something that you can celebrate every day. Celebrate every day with Amazing K. I'm saying goodbye. Have a great day.